Yeah. Rasta Faro. Blessings of Homeless Family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Akeem Pierre. If you're new, welcome to the vibes. Today we're gonna go over the different types of sea moss that you could utilize and the different forms of it. So we got the raw sea moss, what is right here, which most of us are used to. Then we got the gel, which is the raw sea moss soaked and blended and then turned into this gel. And then we got the sea moss powder. And the sea moss powder is something that isn't too common, but I think this is a game changer. So I'm gonna go through the different uses, the different benefits, the different ways that I would use the gel over the raw or the gel over the powder. Just share with y'all a little bit of insights into it. So this right here is the sea moss in its natural form, just coming out of the ocean and dried. So this still needs to be hydrated. It needs to be soaked for at least four hours. From there, you blend it up and then you turn it into the gel. Straight off the bat, this is the most cost effective. This little piece right here is probably gonna get you about two jars worth, but it being the most cost effective, you got to blend it and do the work yourself to make it, which for me, I love the process. Like I personally love the process. The gel right here, I would say that this is the most convenient. Once you got your jar, you just go, scoop it up, chew it up and you good. That right there, you can be in a rush and just go scoop it up and utilize it and that's gonna be potent, right? So that's the major benefit of the CMOS gel is the convenience aspect of it. The other aspect of why I love the CMOS gel is putting it in your different recipes, putting it in your different smoothies, it adds a texture to it. So the CMOS gel can be utilized to make like raw vegan cakes, thicken up stews and soups. That's the added benefit, like that right there, even if it wasn't healthy for you, even if it wasn't that high grade healing, it's still a legendary ingredient because some people use cornstarch just to thicken their food. And that's actually poisoning and toxic. Instead of having something that thickens your food and it actually helps you, it gives you some benefits. Sea moss gel is gonna be the most expensive out of all the options, so just depends, like you want convenience, right? Or do you want the more economical option? If you don't have the time, get this, because what's most important is that you're getting what you need. So if you save a couple bucks to get the dry, but you don't make the time to make it, it's, it's good as just not even having it. You just wasted some money. This gel right here, that's the most effective one. So if you go, 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 you know, you're still working on getting routines into prepping yourself and your own foods, get the gel. And then the sea moss powder here, Sea moss powder is a game changer. Unlike the gel, it doesn't have like a three week shelf life. You could travel with it. One of my favorite things about the sea moss powder is just taking it on the road with you. You bring your own tea to the flight, right? And then you put the sea moss powder in the tea and then that is right there. You're getting your sea moss on the road and wherever you go, you can just take it with you and then you could add a half a teaspoon into whatever it is that you wanna utilize and it's gonna be there for you. You don't have a shelf life on it. It's just something easy you could just take with you. You could just put a little scoop in there. It's like smaller and it's cost effective, right? Because we just use half a teaspoon really per dose. So each of these bags is gonna last you a lot of time if you use it daily. This right here is the powder. It was half a teaspoon that I put into this amount. So this right here is probably just under one cup. So you could look at it about six to eight ounces. And as you can see, this is a nice thick gel. If I leave this in the fridge for any longer, that's gonna turn into a thick gel like this. So you could think about it as half a teaspoon is being worth this much amount of gel. That's potent. You don't even need to use too much. Sometimes you can use too much. Just like when you use this, you're like, this ain't enough for a jar, but this is gonna be enough for two, three jars. Same with the powder, like the powder expands, absorbs, and then thickens it, and then you have this gel. You can make your own gel with the sea moss powder. Is that something I would recommend? Not really, you might as well just get the dry right here, but you can utilize this in your different recipes. I've been experimenting with it and I love it. Just adds a level of convenience to it. I'm personally loving it and that's tick up. Wow. So just sipping on this. Has barely any flavor actually, right? Very similar to the gel. But the thing about it is this could actually expand more. So there's more room to put more water in this and it's gonna harden and still absorb. So give thanks for the sea moss gel. This thing stretches. Cheerio. And then another way that we don't have here 
is the CMOS pills or the CMOS capsules. And that would say like, that's the ultimate of convenience, but you could only take it one way. And that's just taking it like that. I think that is awesome because you're gonna get it into your body, right? You're gonna intake those, those minerals, right? The thing about the pills is that you're gonna be intaking something that's dry. So that means when it goes into your system, it's actually gonna rehydrate using the liquids and the moisture inside of your own body. When you do utilize that, make sure you hydrate more than usual. If you take a bunch of CMOS capsules, right, we already know how much it expands, right? So it's gonna absorb a lot of water in your system, right? So make sure you hydrate, make sure you hydrate because the gel gets rehydrated and the powder, when you put it in things, it gets rehydrated. They're good on the road as well, just like the CMOS powder. So there y'all have it. You know, these are the different forms of CMOS. On our website, we have $25 bag and it makes 10 of these jars. So you can't beat that in terms of price. Plus you get to connect with it. And I, I love that connection with it. So that's an awesome benefit, um, but it's not that convenient because every time you gotta make some new one, not every time, but every couple of weeks. The gel is the most convenient, the least economical, the best for recipes. If you are on the go, get you some of the gel and just make sure you take it consistently. Get on a subscription or something and make sure you get that consistently with it. These two, I love these in recipes. I'm still experimenting to see what the difference is between the gel and the powder when it comes to the recipes. So I'm gonna share more on that for y'all, but I love the gel, the powder. It's been a game changer since we've got it. And that's available on richsoulfoods.com and YouTube just updated, give thanks YouTube. So below this video, y'all could actually see the store and y'all could see all the products on our store in the video below. And you could do that right now without even leaving the video and you're gonna be actually able to see that. So give thanks to YouTube, you know, that's a legendary feature. But y'all tap in, we got the, the half pound bags of CMOS, which is $25. That'll make you 10 jars. Soon come, we're gonna have gel for sale and that's gonna be gel mixed with herbs. Like we have a couple videos where we mix the gel with the herbs that takes that to a whole nother level. Then we got the CMOS powder, which it's new, it's pretty new. It's been about a month now. Still doing a lot more recipes and experiments with it. So y'all could look forward to more CMOS powder videos coming forward so I could share with y'all that one. But give thanks y'all. Let me know if you have any questions about the different forms of the CMOS. What's your favorite? You like the powder? You like the gel? You like the dried? Let me know family. Sending you so much love and balance. Let's remember this lifestyle's for us. Right, this lifestyle is for us so we can be in that high vibration so we can be feeling good. Let's not live this for no one else. Let's not try to do what someone else is telling us to do even if it don't make us feel good. Right, let's find what's best for us in everything that we do. All right, y'all, send y'all so much love and balance. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Ja! Rastafero.